looking at the stream here, figuring out what we're going to do. We're at Big Walnut Creek in Columbus, Ohio, um, with Brian. You got the best bait in the world provided by R&R &R, R &R Bait. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. All right. Go ahead out here um, in Big Walnut Creek, and there's some riffles that we're fishing. We know that there are tons of fish here, and uh, we're going to start working these riffles. We're going to show you guys how to catch some fish. I know you're going to enjoy it. All right, Brian, let's sneak in. Now, here's what we're looking at right here. We've got a deep hole on this opposite bank right here. Right. It's kind of a gravel bottom. There's just a few weeds out here. Lots of minnows. Look at that little tiny smallmouth bass swimming around. All right. This little smallmouth right there chasing minnows. Underneath of this laydown oh, right okay. here. Very, very good area. Lots of fishing. Right on the opposite bank. Yeah. See where that bank goes straight down, that's deep. Yep, absolutely. It's a little bit deeper. It's kind of a clay bank. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it just forms a little bit of a hole. And that little bit of a hole is just what they need to right. set in there. There he is. Got him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice smallie, too. Look at the size of that smallie. Oh, that's a good one right there, Brian. Has he got a fish chasing him? I think that some of those little minnows were coming out. Man, I thought it was another one. Look at that. That is a good fish, man. That's a good fish. Good, good fish. Man, that's a nice one. Pretty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they sure are. And see what happens. I, I bring you out to my fishing spot, yeah. and you will catch the first fish. Well, had to be. <laughs> nice one, man. Nice one. That was fun. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, sure is, man. And I tell you what, high-quality bait doesn't hurt. Yeah, that always hurts. If you don't, if you don't have the right bait, if you don't have the right bait, and you come down to a spot like this on Big Walnut Creek, and you, you're trying to catch these fish, it's not gonna happen. That's why you better go to R and R and get you some good, high quality good. bait before That's you come right. down here. There he go. I didn't even know he was there. All right. Didn't even know he was there. Had it swimming off with it. All right. Here we go. All right, nice fish. There we go. Right there. There we go. Let him go. All right. Fish is a fish. That's right. There we go. Oh, it was a weed. I know it was. was it? Yeah. It almost felt like a fish. You gotta love fishing in Big Walnut Creek. Oh, uh, it's beautiful down here. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. Look at the water. It's just crystal clear. I mean, you're out here in, a condi in conditions like this, wading along. Yeah. It's good in the late summer and the early fall. Gotta love it. Tell us about the different different types of bait that you sell in the shop. Uh, okay, well, uh, the fish that we carry, you know, the variety of fish, that's probably more than anything, which we carry the fathead minnows, um, mm -hmm. two sizes there. We have one, a small one called a crappie, larger one called a bass. Uh, we carry the Arkansas Golden Shiners. There he is. Oh, boy, he's just, I keep, he's eating my bait. Oh, you 
be fat. It's a good and thing that, yeah, by the time we catch him, he'll be about 10 pounds. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to break a it's state like record. It's like steak, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to break a state record here. Uh, if he's a large mouth, he'd be he'd be 15 pounds. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, next Getting time I'm going to let I'm going to let him run a little bit instead of <laughs> set. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, there he gotcha. Is. That's my fish. Gotcha. Fish. Oh, this is a good one too. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't break me off. Oh my, oh, it's a sheep. Nah, you got a small there. No, that's a sheep. Is it? It's a sheep, yeah. No wonder yeah. it's my eating our crawls. Yeah, look at him just rolling out there in that current. We don't count that. It's a count there, right? Yeah, this counts. This Every a fish, fish, a fish is a fish. They count. Now, now, see, if you were, if you were on Lake Erie, this, this wouldn't be a good catch, but we're not on Lake Erie. We're in right. central Ohio oh. on Big Walnut Creek. Boy, they just, for the size of them, they really, they really fight. Oh, yeah, they do. And they might not come jumping out of the water like a small mouth. They can't see the pool. You know, it's, it's there. Huh? Freshwater drum. Alright, here we go. Well, that's a nice one too. Alright, come in. Here we go. He's got really tough mouths. It makes it really difficult. I've got a pair of nice cats here. Not bad, okay. Hemostats. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. I'm trying to whip them like a bass. Here we go. Tons of these in Big Walnut Creek. So when you're catching smallies, you catch some of these as well. All right. There we you go. You get them two calls, you ate them on back down. Because I'm sure they're in. There we go. right in there this guy is a casting sensation right mm -hmm. here I've had a little bit of practice through the years so tell us tell us a little bit about the bait shop you know tell us about what you what you do every day in the bait shop you know selling selling bait a lot of people would like to know about that yeah well and we're it's a busy keeps us busy uh, we have the variety of bait that we sell is enough to keep one person busy all day long. Matter of counting worms. You remember the days you used to mm -hmm. do all that. Absolutely, I sure uh, did. All the different kinds of worms. And when the crayfish are coming or river crawls that they sing, of course that's you know a couple times a day you gotta get through all them. And uh Oh weed. Weed? <laughs> weed. Uh, you know, we just stay busy. We have a lot of customers come in, just buying tackle and stuff. Slowing down a little bit now in September, but that's, mm -hmm. you know, all the kids are back to school, and that's kind of a natural thing to happen in this business, of course. But Okay. The guys that are, uh, the serious guys are still fishing, and they're catching fish. There Spotty is. bass. Right. Smallmouth giddy. Oh, yeah. Get out of your way. What's that one right yeah, there? Oh, that's a small one. Look at you. Oh, that's a good one. 
too, man. That is a good one. I keep getting these reflections, but I can't tell for some reason. Get that one. Look at you. I don't know if I'm taking you out no more, man. I, I don't know. Oh, I bring you to my fishing hole. This is work, what you do to work me. Time. That that's that's what you do to me. I bring you to my good fishing hole, and then you catch all my fish. I let him go. <laughs> He'll grow up. Yep. That way everybody at home can come down to Big Walnut Creek and they've got the same opportunity to catch these fish as, as, as we as we do. And that's the important thing. That's that's one of the hallmarks of the show that I fish in public water, places where you can go, and I'll show you what the fishing is about. No, no kind of mystery locations or anything. We're in Big Walnut Creek right here in Columbus, Ohio. So come out here, stop by r and &R Bait, get you some good bait, come out to Big Walnut Creek, catch some fish. They're here. Oh yeah, they are. Fishing with Joe is proudly brought to you in part by r and Bait and Tackle, the best bait and tackle service in the Buckeye State. Check out my favorite web service, EasyWeb. It's professional, it's affordable, changes anytime you want. Call toll-free 1-877-MY-EASYWEB or sign on to 1-877-MY-EASYWEB.COM. 